Do you allow your younger child to play on your phone? Are you afraid that someday they might delete photos or call clients, or in my case, tweet to thousands of people? Do you wish that sometimes you could just restrict access to one app so they could just play around in that app? Do you wish you could also control what buttons could be disabled on the screen? Well, I wanna to introduce to you a feature on the iPhone called iPhone Guided Access. It will let you restrict access to just one app in your phone and in some cases if you want it will make sure that they cannot press certain buttons on the screen and I'm also going to show you a bonus on how to make sure that you can restrict the time limit that they can use your phone. I'm Josh Oaks, the author of Light, Bright and Polite, how to someday use social media to impress colleges and future employers. Now to do this I want to show you this is my nephew Bryson dressed as an elf. He's two. This is my niece Harper and this is the princess castle I bought for her. I want to show you that I like to have some productive screen time with them during FaceTime. You see they live in different states. Uh, Uncle Josh lives in Los Angeles, but I call them from time to time and I chat with my both of my sisters and they put them on FaceTime. Now in the beginning my niece and nephew used to think, oh look at that big red button, maybe I'll press it and see what happens. Well that got annoying because they would hang up on me and it was cute at first. Uh, then they noticed, well, what's this button, this, this big button, and it would flip the screen around so I couldn't see them, and then it would mute them, and that got annoying too. And then uh, they would hit this big button here and go to the home screen, which would turn it off, but I just wanted to FaceTime with them. Well, let me show you a technique. What if I could make sure they couldn't go to the home screen, and it would disable these bottom buttons and perhaps disable anything at the top? Well, that's what guided access mode is on the iPhone. Let me show you how to set this up. Okay, so first let's click on settings and I wanna show you how to set this up and turn it on. So let's click on settings here and let's scroll down to general right in the middle of the screen. Let's click on general. Then we're gonna click on accessibility right there in the lower third, accessibility. Once you've done that, you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and you're going to see at the bottom guided access. Now guided access mode is what's going to let us restrict our students from getting into any apps we don't want and also from clicking certain buttons on the screen. So we're going to click this guided access and we're going to turn it on. But first look, it says guided access keeps the iPhone in a single app and allows you to control which features are available. To start guided access, triple click on the home button in the app that you want to use. So first we're going to turn it on. Then what you can do is you can set up a passcode, so you have to, the, only the adult that knows the passcode can turn it off. Then you can also set time limits. You can say, play a sound and have the remaining guided access time spoken before the time ends. It's kind of cool. It'll alert and it tells the student, okay, it's time to give the phone back to mom or dad. And this is really helpful if your student is throwing a tantrum and you want to give them the iPhone in a restaurant. There's another thing called accessibility shortcut. When you triple click the home button while guided access is enabled, your accessibility shortcut settings will be displayed up at the top. Okay, so how does this work? Well, I already have passcode settings set up. So let's go back to the home screen and let me show you how this works. I'm gonna to go to the photo app and pretend like I'm FaceTiming, right? I'm face uh, my, my niece or nephew would see this mode. Now my sister would do this. She's on the other end, and right before she hands the phone over to my niece or my nephew, she would do this. She would triple click and go one, two, three. And what happens is now we've entered into guided access mode start, and this is the welcome screen. A Few things going on here. In the upper left, you have the cancel button. In the upper right, the start button. In the bottom left, the options button. I wanna show you before we do the start, I want you to click on options. Now I've turned all these on. The sleep and wake button can work. The volume buttons can work. The motion can work so you can rotate it. Uh, keyboard can work. A touch can work. And time limit, I, for right now I set it to 10 minutes. You could set it to 30 minutes. Whatever your family feels is right. You can even turn the time limit off. But let's turn it on just for a quick sec. We're gonna set it to 10 minutes. We're gonna click done here. Next thing we're gonna do is let's say we wanna turn off these big buttons at the bottom. This is where it gets cool. Watch what I do with my finger. I'm going to do this and I'm going to go around it like that. And look, whoa, it just created a mask and you can then drag the mask a little bit and do weird things with it and all kinds of cool stuff. If you want the mask to, if you want to delete it, you could also make the mask a square or a rectangle in this case and boom, how cool. Now it will turn off that part of the screen. You could also mask the top part as well if you don't want that to work. And I didn't 
do as good of a job there. But you can get the idea. You can get as creative as you want, and it'll mask different parts so they can't touch it. Then when you're ready, you can press the start button. To start it, you need to enter a passcode. So the first time, let's go ahead and do this. OK, guided access is started, and the time limit is 10 minutes. So now you could, if you don't want to, you don't have to turn on these buttons if you don't want to. But now the students can see through them. Um, I could actually have made that one smaller. But now I cannot get out of this mode. It says guided access is enabled. Triple click the home button or use touch ID to exit. I also can't press these buttons down here or anything up here. So now I'm successfully FaceTiming with my niece or my nephew uh, without them getting out of the app or without them clicking any of these buttons. The only way to exit is to do one, two, three, and it says please enter your passcode. Or even better, if you don't want a passcode, you can hold your thumb down here and you can just click once and hold it down and guided access has now ended and now you can scroll through and see my niece and my nephew uh, and you can you know you can now play with the app in normal mode let's review what we've covered here real quick so the first thing is if you want your student to only use one app and you want to give them a phone for a little while but you don't want them uh, in my case to jump into an app or go into another app and tweet to thousands of people you're going to go into settings you're going to go into guided access and to get there you go to general as you can see in the front you're going to go down to accessibility and back all the way down to guided access to turn that on. Now I've turned on just about everything in here. You can set your time limit right there. I turned on accessibility shortcut. Then in any app that you're in, you'll be able to lock it to just that app. Special note, you will not be able to lock it to the home screen. You have to be inside of an app to make this work. Thank you for watching this video. You can click number one to request a social media safety speech at your organization or school. Click item number two on the screen to view a list of our safe apps so that you can teach teens where they should be online. Click item number three to buy my book on Amazon. Click item number four to join our Footprint Friday tool to monitor your students and your family online to make sure you're protecting their online image. I'm Josh Oaks with safesmartsocial.com. As always, keep it light, bright and polite. Thanks for watching.